Yo, hey everybody, it's John Plant Tech, and this is, um, I guess more my four way into GDevelop. I've been trying to do it, and then I stop, and then I do it, and then I stop again. Hold on, I don't need it. I need it. Uh, because sometimes I actually do have legit issues with this game engine. I'm used to Construct 2, I'm used to Game, like game Maker. This engine, while I see I get parts of it, other parts are like, why, how, why, but kind of forced my th way through a little system and I just have time enough just to make a little quick video to kind of like put a video out there that I have to continue um, because I've been doing a, a lot of work and then I've been uh, moving into uh, college time because I'm headed toward law school. I finished my master's, I'm headed toward law school. Yay. Um, so this is going to be a top-down shooter kind of based off of what I'm doing in Copper Cube with Flash and HTML. This is acting like this because I've taken smootheners and everything that Advanced Flash has and this is Extreme Basic Flash. Boom. Okay, cool. Now we know what we are doing. Um, so what, what what have I built? So I built this because I was actually having issues. I reinstalled, develop all that stuff, and then kind of awoke to what I learned a couple of years back with the old GDevelop. So I have, and I'll probably create another video um, just to show all this, is that I created some scenes. And I can pop up GDevelop again. Just to kind of show this. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go through. Let's just quickly go through this one real quick. So I created three scenes, and each scene has an event tab along with it. There were studio, menu, and level one. Level one, we're gonna we are literally just going to like go over the basics of that, and then in the next video, we're going to actually create an entire like level one. So what did I do in Studio? Well, I imported a, um, I'm just actually that popping up like a text box. So I'm gonna go to edit, there we go. Um, it's just a simple image. It's my Studio logo, it's a rogue planet. What happens? Um, well, when you click on it, it or hit space bar, it goes to the next thing. I'm trying to learn how to do timestamps because that's how you use it in Construct 2. So I usually set a limit for like one to five seconds depending if there's an animation with the logo, and then I move on to the next thing. In this case, it's uh, pr uh, key press, space bar, and then chain scene. What I'll probably do is go with some sort of like retro look, like Game Boy or whatever, and say like, hey, hit a button. Um, because actually that, that'd be kind of cool though. On our menu, it's very simple. Again, it's a 2D background of a space station. Um, in a 3D space scene, and it's not real 3D, it's a literally just a rendered image, and a play text button. You click on it, and then you'll hit into level one. There's nothing really too advanced here, nothing too, you know, woohoo. And then I imported a player character, and then what I did was I decided to edit object, but I went over to behaviors, and I decided to Add a behavior. This is where you can add it, like platforming, platform character, destroy when outside of screen. This is that you would do something like that, like say he fell off of a platform or whatever, or um, like an enemy, uh, like on a top down left uh, out of the scene. You probably like delete him. Um, I don't construct who I, I don't, I just let them all randomly find whatever they're doing, or randomly let's walk around some physics physics I actually want to play around with that so we'll probably create some moving boxes and then uh, tween is smoothly animate position angle so like I guess doors some animated doors and pathfinding we'll probably play around with that with some uh, ooh, some old behaviors physics 2d physics and then create your own behavior so we'll look at that we'll look at that um, in like actual concentrated video. So I just added a um, four movement top down. So up, 
Oh, okay, so that's, I'm used to was, so they're, they're defaulting at uh, um, the movement keys. So that's down, that's up, and we have right, and then we have left. I'm actually pr like I'm pretty sure this is gonna be okay, and I'll just hit spacebar as like the shooting. But what I'm going to do is like once we finish that section, I'm actually going to move to a um, using a mouse look system because I'm very used to that in 3D game engines and even in Construct 2 because I actually want to port this to congregate um, and new grounds as an HTML or Flash project. So this is all that I have so far. Again, I'm this is to get me into a new project so we're both some linked together. The file will be down below. I will just tell you in advance, I'm not that great, or not that great. Uh, GDevelop doesn't really have that most, uh, have an awesome save system as filing, so I may have to rebuild this. And if you download the file, I don't know if you can open it. It's another reason why I try to stay away from G, oh, I, I did stay away from GDevelop, is that every time I try to load back up a project, it would not read it. However, I'm gonna give it a go. And even if it does crash, it's a very simple project. And I did create this video, so I can just copy and paste what I did from the video and move on from there. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is probably retrofy all the menus to make it more like a Game Boy Advance or DS, like an advanced, like a um, really, really awesome 2D DS game. <clears throat> um, and then what we're gonna do is move on to the top down so he doesn't he's not moving around. this is just a generic space background because i already had it and what we're going to do is we're actually going to create some levels and then some like intro probably some intro animations and stuff like that to tell a very little like a little minimal little story and then he has to actually adventure around and shoot stuff and collect stuff so we're going to work on like inventory ammo health enemies um, in a minimalist kind of like getting our feet wet into the mud. So hopefully you're around for this journey. Again, like, subscribe, comment down below uh, on stuff that you would like to see or any of the other videos that I do. I will be creating, again, the 3D version of this in Construct 5 because I will be putting this toward Flash websites. And uh, Construct 6 does not have Flash and I'm having issues with the HTML exporter toward websites. So uh, I may also create this in Construct 2. I kind of already done that before, but I kind of want to keep that unison across the board. Uh, comment if you would like to see this in any other engines. I've been trying to do basic concepts in other engines, so we can all kind of like get along with that. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, again, like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.